Good afternoon, my name is Naomi and I will be assisting you today. I will be your optician for two. Okay, and what's your name? Miss Knowles, and are you here to pick up glasses? All right, not a problem. I'll be glad to go get those for you, okay? All right. Okay, I. these are fantastic, very spunky. All right. I do see here that you are a progressive wearer, so I just need to verify that what we ordered at the lab is what we actually received. So I would put our frames in our lensometer and check our distance and reading portion of our right lens and as well as our left lens. So I wanna make sure, I wanna make sure uh, that we are checking our sphere uh, for this particular lens and it would be at a plus 0.75. All right, so you wanna make sure that the power drum is at a plus 0.75 and our sphere is clear at a plus 0.75. All right, now we wanna just check our reading portion and we just move on to our reading portion and verify that it is at a plus 1.75, okay. We verify that it is at a plus 1.75 and it looks clear on our end. Now we would move over to our left lens. Okay, we would check our distance portion and move our accessible at 153. And we would make sure that our power drum is at a plus one. And verify that the sphere lines are clear. They are clear. Now we are checking our cylinder lines to make sure that they are clear as well at a minus 0.50. Okay, once we verify that the cylinder lines are clear at a minus 0.50, we want to check our reading portion at a plus 1.75. So we move it down so that we can read our reading portion. Alright, once we verified, once we verified our plus our plus 1.75 we do see that it is also clear okay once we verify that what we ordered is what we actually received in the lab we would take our lens out of our lensometer and check for horizontal and vertical alignment so you want to make sure that there's no rotated lens or any skewed bridge you want to also check for xing and a four point touch or any coplanar. Um, and the horizontal and vertical alignments look good on the frame. Now we want to go and check for any temple errors. So I do see here that the temple bends are not identical and they're not touching the table simultaneously. And our temple bend can affect temple parallelism and cause for this rocking to persist. So because our, our temples are plastic, we would normally use a heat warmer so that we um, could adjust uh, the temples. But because this temple is a little flexible, I'll be using my hands as a tool. Um, so you just wanna make sure that it is at a 45 degree angle. Once we've got it at a 45 degree angle, we're gonna be using our thumb so that we can get it at the angle. So you just wanna make sure that it matches, it matches the right temple and make sure that both sides are touching the table. Okay, there's still a little rocking. All right, so you just wanna adjust the temple just a little more. All right, and verify. All right, and you wanna move the right just a little bit as well, just to make sure that they both, that they both touch. So now that we fixed our one moment. Okay. Now that we fixed our temple pin and both temples are touching simultaneously on the table, now we are ready to fit it on the patient to make sure that they are able to see through the lenses and that it is comfortable. Okay? So you want to just actually bring bring your face down to eye level with the patient just to make sure that both sides of the lenses are 
evenly on the patient's face. You want to make sure that they are looking through the fitting cross of these progressive lenses. You also want to let them know with a progressive lens, you have a distance portion as well as an intermediate portion and a reading portion. With the distance portion, you just be looking straight ahead for you to see everything out of far. And with our intermediate, you'll be reading everything at arm's length in front of a computer and that um, and you'll be able to actually see what is on the actual computer. When it comes down to our reading portion, you would have to tilt your chin down um, in order to read anything with fine print. I do have this reading card that I want you to uh, try reading the uh, lowest line of this card. All right. And I do see here that you are able to uh, read the smallest line on this reading card. So uh, that does show that uh, you are able to actually see clear. All right, so I do see here that you do have um, polycarbonate lenses. With polycarbonate lenses, they are impact resistant. Uh, so uh, because you are a um, restaurant owner, you know, you may be, uh, that would assist you with um, your actual uh, occupation or profession. And you also do have a treatment, an uh, anti-reflective treatment, because um, you may be dealing with a, a lot of computers. It does have a blue light filter. Uh, so that can help with the glare when you are you may be uh, upkeeping any inventory for your restaurant. So uh, that is a great plus for you. Um, so a few things about you know cleaning your your lenses. You want to make sure that you are always using a microfiber cloth or a lint-free towel. Um, you want to make sure you're using a lens cleaner and not any glass cleaner. It has to be a lens cleaner. So make sure that you are using a lens cleaner. You would use the lens cleaner, spray it probably two to three times, and then you would uh, rub rub the cleaner off with a microfiber just to make sure that there's, an, there's not any dirt or debris or any fingerprints on your glasses. You would rub it off with this little cloth. Okay, uh, you want to make sure that you're not putting your glasses in the sun um, because that can affect your that can affect the treatment that is on your lenses. So you want to make sure that your lenses um, last very long and you know, and it doesn't deteriorate um, the quality of the lens. Uh, so, you know, just keep those few things in mind and make sure every time that you're not using your glasses that you want to put it in your your glasses case. So you put it in your glasses case and make sure that you're walking around with your microfiber cloth as well um, so that you can clean your glasses every time um, that you are using them, okay? Do you have any questions for me that I'll be able to assist you with? Okay, you don't have any questions. I also want to let you know uh, that uh, our clinic is open on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursdays at 9 to 11 a.m. and from 1 to 3 p.m. Uh, if you need any adjustments or if you have any questions that you want to ask, you can please definitely get in contact with us and we'll be able to further assist you. Thank you so much for choosing our optical, uh, Miss Beyonce Naomi Knowles. We appreciate you and have a great day. All right. And one more thing. Did you want to wear your glasses out or did you want me to put it back in the case? Okay. You want me to put it back in the case? So let me just take that off from you. Put it in a bag and have a great day.